Hello everyone, this is David Smith from Game Careers. I'm still at the Develop Conference in Brighton. Uh, I'm very pleased to have with me uh, Dr. Richard Wilson, who is the Chief Exec of Tiger, the uh, main trade association in the games industry. Richard, please, can you introduce yourself? Hi David, my name is uh, Richard Wilson. I'm the CEO of Tiger. Uh, Tiger is the trade association that represents the UK games industry. Uh, we were established back in 2001. I've been running Tiger since 2008 and uh, we're going great guns. This year we've managed to get a tax break for game development for the UK games industry and uh, we're working to represent our members and help them to grow their businesses. Uh, so Tiger is the key trade association representing the UK game development sector. Um, and tell us some more, I mean what, what are some of the things that you've been uh, campaigning and, and, and been successful on? So Tiger's key focus has been to make the UK the very best place in the world to gain business. That's been our, our overarching vision. Uh, and to achieve that, we've been focusing on three subsidiary objectives. Uh, the first has been to represent the games industry effectively and to lobby effectively on behalf of UK game developers and digital publishers. So over the last two years, we've uh, over the last four years, we've been campaigning for changes to the tax system and campaigning for changes to the migration system and uh, arguing for measures to improve education and training. And our key successes have been to improve the research and development tax credits back in the 2011 budget, which were made more generous for game developers and indeed other technology businesses. And our overwhelming success was this year, when in the 2012 budget we convinced, when we finally convinced the uh, uh, current administration to introduce a tax break for games production. And the tax break for games production will allow the UK games industry to compete on a much more level playing field against countries around the world, including the United States and Canada. So that's going to be a great shot in the arm for the UK game development sector. Uh, but in, in addition to our campaigning activities at Tiger, uh, we also carry out two other major strategic activities. Uh, one has been to raise the profile of the games industry, uh, so that can range from work such as this, David, which is uh, great to have an opportunity to take part in, uh, but also in addition to speaking to the trade press and to uh, uh, trade organisations uh, within the games industry, we've also been raising the profile of the games industry on a national level. So we're really pleased to be able to report that over the last 12 months uh, Tiger has been representing the games industry on Channel 4 News, ITV News, BBC News, Sky News, every broadsheet newspaper in the UK and uh, the vast majority of the tabloids as well. So that's been a really important role that Tiger has undertaken because the games industry has for too long been overlooked by uh, the national media and by policy makers and one of our key activities has been to redress that balance. And then the third thing we've been focusing on uh, to help the UK be uh, the best place in the world to gains business has been to uh, help our members be more competitive. We've been helping our members uh, to uh, assist themselves in a commercial sense. So we provide networking events, best practice information advice uh, and discounts on third party suppliers. Uh, and so in those various ways, in those three key ways, we've been helping to drive the UK games industry forward. Uh, fantastic. And uh, tell us about your role specifically. What does the Chief Exec uh do uh, at Tiger and perhaps um, how you came to be working at uh, Tiger in the, in the first instance? Well the key role of the CEO at Tiger is to provide a, a vision for the organisation and a uh, strategy and then to implement that strategy. Uh, so over the last four years I've been very keen to position Tiger as uh, the, the best trade association in the UK. We've aimed very high uh, and we wanted to make, the, make Tiger an organisation that will have a real beneficial impact on the UK game development sector and digital publishing sector. So. At Tiger, my key role, as I say, has been to advance this vision and the strategy, then to implement that vision and strategy. And uh, words are obviously very, very cheap, but I'm very glad to say that we have actually you know, made a real tangible difference for the UK game development sector, particularly in those tax measures which I mentioned a few minutes ago about games tax credits and research and development tax credits. I'm very pleased to say as well that uh, Tiger has been recognised uh, by external bodies as being a, an award winning organisation. We've been uh, described as the best trade association in the UK uh, for two years running by the Trade Association Forum, uh, which is a praise indeed. Uh, so we're very pleased in the direction that Tiger's going. And in terms of how I managed to get my position at Tiger, I was very fortunate. I was looking through uh, the Guardian newspaper one day back in 2007, I think it was, November 2007, and I saw this advert for CEO of Tiger. And I thought, that's the job for me. Fantastic. And uh, I mean, I think you've already told us you know, why Tiger is so important for the games industry. Um, but what would be your message to games companies that have not yet considered joining Tiger? Mm. Well, Tiger is very important to the UK games industry because it provides that representational, representational voice. Uh, of course, people in the games industry want to make games, but they need to have an organisation, they need to have experts that are going to advance the industry's case at a political level with MPs, civil servants, and government ministers. 
that's a really critical task which TIG has to perform. And additionally, of course, we have to perform these important goals of raising the profile of the sector and to assist member companies to grow and prosper. So my message to games companies that are not yet members of Tiger is to say that you should rally around, join Tiger, because as a united organisation representing developers and digital publishers will have more of an impact with government. Uh, if you join Tiger, you are more likely to benefit from our variety of services and benefits that we offer members, which include, as I say, you know, some excellent networking events, good practice information advice, and discounts from third party suppliers. The truth of the matter is that that's Running a small business, running a medium or even a large business is a challenge. Why make it more complicated? Why, 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 uh, why not take up the advantage of Tiger membership and help your uh, business grow and prosper? Thank you. And uh, finally, what advice would you give um, uh, job seekers that may be watching this video um, looking to apply for a, a job in the, in the UK games industry? Well, the two pieces of advice I would give. The first piece of advice would be that you clearly need to have a good uh, set of qualifications, a good education behind you because the UK games industry is highly skilled, uh, it requires highly trained and sophisticated people, very creative people and the lovely thing about the games industry is of course it uh, combines you know, art and design on the one hand with uh, some very scientific skills, mathematical skills on the other and bringing those two sets of skills together is really the essence of game development. Uh, so anyone wanting to get a job in the games industry would need to be an expert in, in one of these two dimensions, one of these two fields the artistic side or the scientific side. Uh, but in addition to that, the other key thing which uh, someone must have if they want to work in the games industry is to have absolute passion for the sector. Uh, I can't make video games, but I am passionate about the industry. Uh, and the same really applies to people who are wanting to actually get into the games industry and to make video games. You haven't just got to have the skill set, you've got to have the enthusiasm, the commitment, the passion to work for uh, a particular games company. And I suppose actually if there was a third piece of advice, I would say you, you really want to identify the company in particular, or the genre in particular that you want to work on, uh, or the company. Uh, focus on that and do some background information about that company, and then demonstrate your passion and your skills. Uh, Richard Wilson, CEO of Tiger, thank you very much. Thank you.